Now that we know how to use layers in the state machine, let's talk about the concept of animation mixing. In this file, we've got three different timelines. The first timeline is called move, and it moves this rectangle from left to right. The next animation is called scale, and this one scales the rectangle up and down. The last timeline is called rotate, and this one rotates the rectangle around in a circle. Now one thing to note about these timelines is that each one of the timelines animates a specific property. This will be important later as we mix the animations together. Now let's go to the timeline and on the first layer, we have the animation called move. So as you can see, we're moving our rectangle. Now what we're gonna do is add a couple layers and add these extra timelines to those layers to see how all of them mix together. So let's go ahead and rename this first layer and call it move and then add a new layer, and we're gonna call this one scale and add the scale animation to it. Now to get this animation to work, we need to create a transition from the entry node to the looping animation. And there we go. So now when we play, you can see that the rectangle is not only moving, but it's also scaling. Now if we delete the transition, you'll see that it'll go back to simply moving again. And then we can also rehook the scale animation up and you can see that now we're again moving and scaling. So you can see how these animations are mixing on top of one another. So now if you think about it, we can use these layers as sort of a modular way to animate. So on one layer, like the move layer, we can move our object and on another, we can change some other property and not have to put those on the same timeline. Now let's go in and add our final animation. So we need another layer and we're going to call this layer rotate just to keep track of what we're doing here. And then we'll drag the rotation animation onto the graph and add a transition. And then when we play the state machine, it will be combining all three of our different animations. And you can see how we've almost created this like ash like 3d rotation effect. So as you can see, this is an effective way to create animations using the state machine.